Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. Hi guys, it's Dear Natural 62. I wanted to come today and show you what's in my professional nail kit. For those that don't know, I am a licensed nail tech at two luxury spas, amongst so many other things that I do. So a lot of people wanted to know what's in my nail kit, what's in my professional nail kit. Now I have two different nail kits that I'd like to talk about. This one is my professional nail kit. If you wanna see what I use for events and different things like conventions, parties and so on that's a totally different nail kit this is just for professionals so this is what you would need in a professional nail kit and if you're at home doing your nails this is basically all the tools you'll need just to get you started okay now I know I wanted to talk a little bit about my nails because I know people are looking at my nails like um what's going on with these shapes how many different shapes does she have <laughs> well right now on my right hand I tend to keep my nails much shorter and I'm always cutting them and I tend to keep them in a swovel shape because if I'm working on a client, I'm predominantly using my right hand because I am right-handed. This is where it gets a little funky. On my left hand, I have some oval stiletto nails, not as pointy, um, but you know, it does have a little sharpness. <laughs> to it and I have my ring finger which is swovel. I love the difference. I love being different. I don't believe in being cookie cutter. You know I just feel like you can do whatever you want to do and just be yourself. Be an original. Be spontaneous. It's nails. Nails to me are just like hair. If you cut it it will grow. You know I don't get so hung up about it. You know just Maybe two weeks ago, all my nails were like super short and squoval. Like I literally grew my nails, shaped them, and did my own shape and everything. So it's all possible. Nails do grow. <laughs> so let's get into what's in my nail kit. Ooh, I love it, I love it, I love it. This is my cute VIP nail kit that I got when I was doing, I was actually selling basic nail kits for people. And I had bought so many of these and I still have quite a few left over. And I said, you know what? I need to use this for myself. <laughs> Cause I love the fact that it's durable, it's sturdy, it's clear, I can see what's in it. And I absolutely love that. So let's open it up. It opens up like this. It stays very secure in my bag. And I'm gonna go through what I have in it. Now, you might say it's not that much, but think about it. If you work at any type of facility, they already have um, acetone, nail polish remover, files, buffers. They have those things. So you're not coming into any facility with those things. This is what you're coming into. Your own dapping dish. I, I love my dapping dish because if I do clean up, I put some acetone in it and it works perfect for me. I go in with two different types of nippers. Both of these are stainless steel and they're by Tweezerman. I love them because they're extremely sharp. I don't suggest you cut cuticles if you're not secure in your skills because you can make yourself or your client bleed. But you have to be extremely careful when cutting cuticles because Even cutting nippers are very, very sharp and they will cut so you have to be very secure. Now the difference in the two is the edges. The edge of this is much longer for a longer nail bed than this one. I predominantly use this on toes because the toe is a longer and wider nail bed and I'll use this one on nails. So that's the two that I carry with me. Then you need a cuticle pusher. I love my cuticle pusher, again, because it's stainless steel, um, it's very sturdy, and I love the fact that I can disinfect all of these. Um, I might even do a video on how to disinfect your tools. Now, this is my Tweezer Man nail clipper. Now, the difference you'll find in this nail clipper, one, it's stainless steel. Yes, I like that. And I love the fact that it is a straight edge. It is not a curved edge. And I've been using this ever since beauty school because I never understood Understood. and professor explained to me she's like when you do a straight edge you get a cleaner cut and from that you can shape any design you want if you start off round then you have to shape it square you have to shape it squoval you have to create that so ever since then 
all my nail all my nail clippers have been a straight edge and I absolutely love it it works great I have another cuticle pusher that I use sometimes I use a curette um but I'm just noticing lately I haven't been using my curette that much but instead I've been using the stainless steel tweezer man um pusher because unlike the rounded one that shapes in the cuticle to go like this, I've been using this one on toes and it works great when I do pedicures for people. I absolutely do love it. You know, oftentimes when people send me pictures of their work and I absolutely do enjoy it, don't get me wrong, but couple of tips. Make sure you clean your nails before sending me the picture. Make sure your picture isn't blurry. You know, if you want me to showcase it and give it a shout out, it has to come correct. I'm just saying. Okay, when it comes to the cleanup brushes, look for something small. Um, I love the straight edge. I love the straight flat end brush and I also love an angled brush because it all depends and I absolutely love my round brush. Now I love them for different reasons. The round one I love if I'm doing a French on someone. If I'm doing a French on someone and after you've applied the polish you can go in now with this and clean up and create a beautiful smile line. Now the reason I love an angled is if I'm cleaning around it literally fits right within the cuticle area for you and it cleans that whole cuticle area great. up now my flat one is great for smaller fingers and if I'm doing kids it gets in every single corner that I want it to these are the three that I predominantly use now I have a lot of brushes <laughs> <laughs> just like when I did my um clean my makeup brushes people were like are those the only brushes you have no no it literally takes me about an hour and a half to wash all my makeup brushes that's that many brushes now same thing with <laughs> my nail art brushes now the other thing I liked about this round ended brush is that it has a dotting tool at the end of it which leads to my next product <laughs> My little thumb palette. I showcased this as a review and then I just showcased it in my top five nail products. I'll link a video of that. The reason I love this is because, not, believe it or not, not everyone likes nail art. <laughs> I know, surprising, right? But not everyone likes nail art. But for the ones that do, this is great to have on hand because there's so many designs you can do with just this dotting tool and the fact that you have your little thumb palette here. I absolutely love it. Now, the thumb palette's not just for... I don't just use it. I have more than one. I don't just use it for nails. You can also use this for makeup. You know, if you're mixing concealers, if you're mixing lip stains, all of that's great because this is stainless steel and it can be cleaned quickly and it can be sanitized. I love that. Anything that can be sanitized, I'm all for it. If it can be sanitized, it's not in my kit. It's not in my makeup kit and it's not in my nail kits. So I absolutely love this. I'll put a link down in the description box if you're interested in this. It's fairly inexpensive and it's great to have. It's not something that you're going to be like, you know what, why did I spend the money on that? It's not because you're going to see that you use it and there's so many different ways to use it. So that's a good buy. So that's it. That's everything that I have in my professional nail kit. So if you give me a thumbs up on this video, that means you wanna see what's in my event nail kit. So I'll be happy to show you that, how I travel with my mobile nail station and all. So I hope you've enjoyed this. Don't forget to click that subscribe button so you can see videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. It's Dear Natural 62. If you wanna chat with me, follow me on Instagram and Twitter and like my Facebook fan page. Take care. Bye-bye.